Hi everyone. I decided to do a little tutorial on how to make objects fall from the sky, but how to make different objects fall from the sky, because uh, there were a few people with questions about that. So first thing I'm going to title my Scratch project saying different objects falling. Now you're tempted to make three different sprites. So let's say I want three different objects to fall. You're tempted to pick three different sprites, but that's not what you want to do. Okay, what you want to do is just have one sprite. So I'll, I'll take the cat here, uh, one sprite, but for that sprite, we're going to have three different costumes. So I don't need two cats. I'm going to get rid of one. And then I'm going to choose, I don't know, we'll just choose a couple quick ones. We'll choose uh, an apple as the second sprite. Oh, did it not wet in the show? There we go. And we'll choose a bananas as the last sprite. Okay, so three different costumes. Um, and then I'm going to go into my code area and I'm going to code pretty much what you did to make it fall the first time. So we'll say when I start my game or my little program here, not really a game. So when this starts, we're going to run a forever loop that just keeps making clones. So we'll have a timer. Um, and if the timer, we'll need these. So if the timer gets above, so if the timer gets above, say, two seconds, we're going to make another one fall. So if, if the timer gets above two seconds, we're going to create a clone of myself, and we're going to reset the timer like so. When the clone begins, what we want to do is pick a costume. So we're going to, I'm going to randomize it so that we don't know which one's going to fall. So notice this is costume one, costume two, costume three. Those are the numbers in the corners. So what I'm going to do is when the clone starts, I'm going to make it pick a random number between one and three. Now I want to keep track of that number. So I'm going to pick a, I'm going to make a variable called cost num, so costume number. Uh, and I want to set the costume number to be that random number. So I pick a number and I assign that number to be costume number. And then I'm going to have an if statement that says if the costume number, so I go to my costume, if the costume number turns out to be one, oops, then what that means is I want bananas to fall. So let's say I want bananas to be the costume if, if it's number one. If we switch to number two, then let's switch the costume to be the apple. And if we turns out we pick number three, oops, let me just get that in the right place. If we pick number three, then we're going to have the costume be costume one, which isn't a great name. I should probably change costume one to be something else, like I could change costume one here to be cat. And when I do that, you'll see the code adjusts automatically. So I know if a one is chosen, bananas should fall. If a two is chosen, apple will fall. If a three is chosen, cat will fall. And then the next code is just gonna actually make it work. So I'm going to, uh, under looks, I'm gonna show the clone, and then I'm gonna run that forever loop that makes the clone go down the screen by saying let's change the x coordinate or sorry the y coordinate by negative 10 and if it hits the edge so if it hits the edge that's under sensing if the clone is touching the edge then we simply want to delete that clone okay so when we start, the timer starts, uh, we make a clone and reset and just keep making clones over and over again. For each clone, we pick a number. If the number is one, bananas. If we two, apple. But it's, it's all the same sprite. We're just, cho we're just choosing the costume. The only thing that I forgot is I got to set the position. So I want to, I'm going to set it to a random number, but I'm just going to do this really quickly. Uh, you are going to randomize that zero to make it go all over the top, but let's just see if it works. So we'll run it. Oh, I, one more thing. I want to hide the original clone, or sorry, hide the original sprite. 
So under looks, I'm going to throw a hide right here, and then the cat should go away. And let's let, oh, and I don't want the variable to show up. So there we go. Let's see what happens. So there's our cat, another cat. There's an apple. There's an apple. Let's see the bananas to make sure it's working. There we go. And I got bananas. So I've got randomness occurring now. So I choose the random number. It makes a different costume appear. So you don't need three different sprites. And in fact, if you try to do it with three different sprites, you'll find it's not going to work because you only have one timer. Um, so this is the way you want to do that. And it's the exact same thing for the good objects that are falling from the sky.